when the reciprocal of the larger of two consecutive even integers is subtracted from four times the reciprocal of the smaller, the result is five sixths. Find the integers. Let's begin by identifying our variable. In this case, we'll let x represent an even integer. Then x plus two will represent the next even integer. Now the problem states that the reciprocal of the larger is to be subtracted from four times the reciprocal of the smaller. In this case, x is the smaller, so four times the reciprocal of the smaller will be four times one over x. And from that, we're gonna subtract the reciprocal of the larger, or one over x plus two and the result is to be five-sixths. And so this is our setup. We can write four times one over x as four over x, and we have four over x minus one over x plus two equals five-sixths. Now what we have here is a rational equation that can be solved by multiplying both sides by the LCD. Now before we do that, let's make a quick note of the restrictions here. X cannot equal zero or negative two. Also we note that the LCD is equal to six times X times X plus two. And we'll multiply both sides by that LCD. Now on the left side we need to distribute and so multiplying both sides by the LCD is equivalent to multiplying all the terms by the LCD. And so at this point you can see that we will have a lot of cancellation. Okay, the first term here, the X cancels and that'll leave us with 24 times X plus two minus the x plus two cancels, so minus six x will be equal to five x times x plus two. And what we're left here with is a quadratic equation. Let's distribute and get this in standard form equal to zero. So here we have 24 x plus 48 minus six x then equals 5x squared plus 10x. Same side like terms, 24x minus 6x is 18x. So 18x plus 48 equals 5x squared plus 10x. Now subtracting 18x on both sides and subtracting 48 on both sides leaves us with zero equals five x squared minus eight x minus 48. Now this quadratic factors. We'll use five x and x. 48 factors as four times 12. So if we place the four here and the 12 there, we'll have a 20 x and a 12 x, which adds up to negative eight x if the 20 is negative and the 12 is positive. Positive 12 times negative four is negative 48 and it's factored correctly. And so we then set each factor equal to zero. So five X equals, or five X plus 12 equals zero, or X minus four equals zero. Five X equals negative 12 or x equals negative 12 fifths. In this case, we have x equals four. And in this case, we're looking for consecutive even integers and negative 12 fifths is not an integer. So we'll choose x equals four to be our only solution. And so x plus two then will be six. And the two consecutive even integers are four and six.